Okay, this is Rob from Harlem Lofts. We're doing our monthly market report. This is uh, today's May 6th. We're going to do our report based on April data. Uh, the townhouse market is on the move, as we talked about last month. Um, I'll get this out of the way. You can find us on harlemlofts.com. Go to resources, events, and all of our listings. If you just go to our website, um, you can find us on Facebook um, under Harlem Lofts Coming Soon. That's our off-market listings before they hit the market. And most, uh, you, most of you are on YouTube now, so Harlem Lofts YouTube. Subscribe and please enable notifications so you get these videos. So what we're going to talk about now, our monthly report, is townhouse listings, what's in contract, and what is sold. Here we go. So for right now, listings. There are 76 on the market. That's up from last month. It is the most we've had on the market since January 1st. Um, and there's been activity there. Uh, 18 of those are new listings. Out of the new listings, 10 are brand new, haven't been listed before, but eight of those are relisted properties, regurgitated, either with a new broker or they pulled them off to fix some paperwork, possibly, and, um, or to maybe do some renovations or whatever. But eight of those you've seen before or they're back on the market. Um, 12 left the market this month, four went into contract, Two were sold directly, so they never hit the market. Just for the record, they were sold and never hit the larger syndicating sites that most of you um, peruse to find your listings. Uh, so they were direct sales, uh, off-market sales. And then six properties were pulled off the market completely. Again, delisted. And we just talked about relisted. Well, these are delisted, so we will follow those and let you know why. And usually it's to, again renovate the property or make some repairs that they realized were in need that they didn't know before or fix some paperwork that they maybe should have list, fixed before they listed the property. Um, another reason is a property gets old, so you know brokers will pull it off uh, to let it stay off for 90 days and then it looks as if it's a new listed listing. So these six that were delisted this month, we'll talk about them in three months maybe. Um, 10 of the properties out of the 76 received new discounts. And we'll get into the details on those discounts uh, as well. That's up from four in March and 11 in February. So there's, um, there, there is some movement on the discounts and we have a chart to follow. Basically, if you look at your market in general, there's, the top, there's a 20% turnover, whether it's pulling it off the market, relisting it, going to contract, um, there's 20% market activity uh, um, each month, it seems like. So we have 19 in contract right now um, for the month of uh, April. This is May now. Five of those are newly put into contract. Four were removed. Now, a couple of the properties that were in contract last month uh, were pulled off and did not close. Uh, I won't get into the details on those. I don't know the final answer, but I, ha I have a suspicion on both of those. They were pulled from the market, so they're not in contract anymore. Um, honorable mention, 2007 Fifth is a three-family that we put in contract uh, last month. That'll close uh, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. And we have two additional uh, accepted offers. So um, we do have two off-market and two that with accepted offers. If you want to know about the off-market properties, go to our Facebook page um, coming soon. Facebook coming soon, Harlem Lofts. All right, so let's talk about what closed. All right, so closed deals uh, total for 2021, we've had uh, 26. Five of those in April. That's an average for the past three years in April. I know we had 12 in March. That was extreme. So five in April is not bad compared to the last three, four years, actually. Um, and out of those 26, or out of the five that closed this month, we had SRO, one, two family, two of those. Uh, by the way, one family, zero. Three families, one, and a five family, one. So that, that totals five in April. Um, that's a pretty good mix. And then we just talked about the new stuff that hit the market. So um, I guess uh, there are two properties that we didn't talk about because they're not fair market properties, but I'll make um, honorable mention of them. One is a rectory on 129th Street that's part of a, a bigger package deal. The other one is a package deal on 158th Street, a big deal up there. So they don't really fit into the... Uh, fair market value transactions, so we don't talk about those. But I do want you to know that our research team is aware of them. Um, out of the properties that did sell, three of them sold with discounts this uh, in April. 
ranging from eighty to three hundred and seventy-five thousand um, dollars. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or need some more details on the stuff we talked about, uh, just go to HarlemLoss.com or give me a call with the number listed. Uh, thank you so much. We'll talk to you in June.